This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use Inkscape to uh, generate very simple and easy calendars without having to manually write out all of the numbers and format them like you see here. It's a pretty easy way to do this. So um, let's get started. By the way, if you'd like to um, know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure the view is set to custom, and then we'll zoom in at one to one. Then I'm going to open up the Align and Distribute menu, and we'll want Last Selected chosen from that drop-down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the boxes that are going to make the... Uh, I'm going to create these tiles, these little boxes that the calendar items will sit in. So to do that, I'm going to grab the Squares and Rectangles tool, and I'm just going to create a little rectangle. And I'll go to the Select tool, and I'll change the width and the height of this to 225, and hit Tab to skip over to the height and I'll make that 200 and hit enter. And I'll just bring the opacity of that down in half and just make that red for now. And uh, I'm going to convert that to a path by going to path, object to path. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate and I'll turn that blue and hold control and just move this off to the right. And then hold shift and click on the blue shape and stack them next to each other with this button over here that says align left edges of objects to the right edge of the anchor. Go ahead and click that. Click off to deselect everything, and we're going to go four by three, as you see here. I have a four, four wide, three, three deep. So um, to do that, I'll just uh, what I'll do next is I'll just click and drag over both of these. I'll uh, hit Control D on the keyboard to duplicate them, and then I'll group them together. Hold Control, click and drag this off to the right. Hold Shift, click on the blue object. Click the button over here on the right again. Align left edges of the objects to the right edge of the anchor. And we can click and drag over all of that and group all of that together and then duplicate that again by right clicking it and going to duplicate. Now I'm going to flip that vertically, I mean horizontally with this button over here. And hold control, move this down to here. Hold shift, click on the uh, top row. And we're going to use this button down here that says align top edges of the object to the uh, bottom edge of the anchor. Click off of it to deselect. And finally we'll take this box up here, hit control D to duplicate that. Hold control, move it down here and hold shift and click on the next row up from it and click that button again to stack it at the bottom. And what we could do now is click and drag over all of them and just click ungroup a bunch of times to make sure they're all ungrouped. So we now have the format for our calendar tiles. What we have to do now is generate a calendar which is pretty easy. So uh, to do this I'm going to zoom out a little bit because um, I'm going to press minus on the keyboard a few times to zoom out because Inkscape places this sometimes out of the view of the canvas so uh, I like to zoom out. What I'll do now is go to Extensions, Render, and Calendar. And you'll notice we have all these different tabs and all these options. You could change the month names. You could have them you know, displayed as January, February, March. You could have the day names as Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or you could have them abbreviated with SMTWTFS. Uh, character encoding, we have all these options over here. Uh, colors, uh, I'm just going to leave the default there. We can change those easily. Layout. Um, months per line, I'm going to change that to four because that's how I'm configuring this over here. And for the configuration, this is important, uh, month zero for all and year. It's going to say zero by default, but what I would do is since I'm going to generate this calendar for the year 2017, I'm just going to type in 2017 and you could decide uh, you know, which day the week starts, weekend, Saturday and Sunday and all that other stuff. So. Uh, once we have those parameters set, we can just go ahead and click Apply, and it'll render a calendar. Let me close out of that. You'll see it over here. Let me just move that. I'm going to zoom back in by pressing plus on the keyboard. We now have a calendar, and it's accurate. It goes by the year 2017. This is the accurate days, accurate numbers in each month. And if you notice, it includes the previous month's days and the next month's days, which you could differentiate with different colors. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it. And um, what I'll do now is I'll just ungroup it by clicking ungroup. And you'll notice we have all these individual little tiles here. I'll click off of that to deselect everything. And if you want, you could even go as far as if you uh, click on one of these tiles and you ungroup it. Ungroup it again. And you'll go to the, the, um, the text tool. You'll see it has the font. Uh, the default font is uh, Arial or Arial or whatever, however it's pronounced. Uh, I don't have that installed on my system, but uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that as it is now. I'm gonna group them back together, but you can go and change these fonts easily if you wanted to. So 
Now that we have the calendar, we could just take the tile, take the calendar's uh, months, and just place them into these individual tiles. And to do that, I'll just grab the select tool and I'll bring this over here. I'll bring January in there. I'll bring February in there. Bring March in there. April is coming in to the fourth one. Uh, May, June, July, and I'm going to center all of these up. I'm not going to just leave them floating uh, loosely like that. Take September, put this down here. October goes in there. November goes in there. And December goes in there. And you could go, uh, since we're going to use a colored backdrop for each of these tiles, I'm going to make the text on all of these white, except for this one where I'm going to leave it blue. So um, for now, I'll just make them all white. I'll click on each month by holding shift and clicking on each one. And with them all selected, I'll just change them to white. There we go. Click off of that to deselect. This one, I forgot to grab that one. Oh, you know what? That one, I grabbed the wrong box for that one. Click that one, make that white. There we go. And I'm just going to center these all up within their respective tiles. So I'll click on the month first and then hold shift and click on the tile and center it on the vertical and horizontal axis. And I'll do this for each one. Just go individually and center them all up inside of there. We're going to click the month, then hold shift, click the, block, the box beneath it, center it on the vertical and horizontal axis, and just go through and tediously do this for each one. Let's center that one up, put this one over there, this one over here. Center that up, and then again. And again, we're clicking the month, holding shift, clicking the tile, center on the vertical and horizontal axis. And what we could do now is click and drag over all of them and bring the opacity all the way up. And uh, what you could even do is you could take the uh, the number 2017 right here. I'm going to change the font to that. For this one I used, um, I forget which font I used there. I believe that's Montserrat. I'll go to the text editor. I'll find Montserrat. And this is a free font to download if you'd like to download it. If you'd like to do a Google search for it, it's all over the internet. Click Apply, close out of that. I'll hold Control and Shift and scale that up. I'll rotate that 90 degrees counterclockwise and I'll just put this over here for now. I'm gonna color that in in a minute. So um, we can go and color this in however you'd like. I'm just gonna use random colors. I went red, yellow, light blue, darker blue. So I'll just click this one. I'll make this red, maybe a little lighter. And this one, yellow. And this one's a light uh, bluish greenish type of shade. And this one's the same shade, but a little darker. And a little more blue. Maybe give that a little more blue like that. And that's pretty good. And again, the white doesn't look very good against this light shade of yellow. So I'll just click on the month of February and I'll press F7 to grab the dropper and make that blue. I'll go back to the set, uh, select tool, and I'm just going to go through and color the rest of these boxes in. So uh, let me just refer back to this. All right, this is the same but backwards. Okay, so click that red box, press F7 to get the uh, dropper, click on that shade, and we'll go back to the select tool. Instead of clicking the select tool, you can just press F1, and that grabs it. Grab that, and then press back to F7 for the dropper. Press F1 for back to the select tool, F7 for back to the dropper, back to the dropper, and we can just go through and do all of this. Again, I'm toggling uh, between the select tool and um, the dropper by pressing F1 and F7. And I'll just click on that month and hold shift, click on that month, grab the dropper again with F7 and just make that blue. And I'll take the number 2017 over here, press F7 to get the dropper, make that the same shade that this is. And that's... Uh, Put that right about there like that. That's pretty good. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a very easy calendar using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.